had this one girl, I swear to God, me and her matched on a dating app. And so afterwards, I tried to make plans with her, but she wasn't available, so I just left it at that. And then a couple months later, she comes back. She comes back texting me, whatever, doing this, doing that. We end up FaceTiming, and then we end up going out. She would constantly Snapchat me. She would constantly send me stuff. She would constantly send me selfies of herself. And then I would comment like, okay, you, you, look, you look sexy, you look beautiful, whatever. Um, I wouldn't do that every time, but sometimes I would. And I would just naturally, I, I swear to God, I was naturally in a position of abundance where I wasn't even focused on her, but it happened. And then after she would do this consistently for a few days straight, I would try to play in the next date. And then we, put, we went out a second time, but after that second time, the same thing continued, but she just never made plans to meet me. And then she would keep coming back into the picture and then leave. And then keep coming back into the picture and then leave. I, it's like, I'm not even doing anything. She's sending me pictures of her sisters. She's sending me pictures of herself in this outfit, that outfit, this outfit, that outfit. And I'm just kicking back and relaxing. Yet, despite all of that, I tried to make plans with her. She's nowhere to be found. Yo, what's up, man? I have a question for you. Have you ever been in a situation where you're getting to know a girl, you're kind of vibing with her, she's texting you a lot, she's sending you a lot of things on Snapchat, she's sending you Instagram reels, she's sending you memes, she's sending you a bunch of this stuff, she's sending you selfies of herself, and you're sitting there, you're like, of course she's interested, she must be interested, she's texting me all the time, she's sending me this, she's sending me that, so duh, she must be interested. But then you notice that you try to make a plan with her, and every single time you do, there's always excuses. It's not just like a once or twice type of thing, but every single time you try to make plans with her, there's always a bunch of excuses. Oh, I'm so busy. Oh, I can't this week, but maybe next week. And then next week comes, you try to make plans with her. Next week, next week, next week, whatever. There's always a bunch of excuses. And here you are sitting there scratching your head like, what the hell happened? I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go out with her again. Asking yourself all these questions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Your mind's just about to fucking explode. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the four main reasons why she texts you and is communicating with you a lot, but is not making any plans to meet. So just stay tuned. Reason number one, she is using you as an emotional crutch or an emotional tampon to fill the void she has, the empty void of either an ex, a guy she's interested in really, or just emptiness in her life in general. In other words, she likes what you're giving her because you're showing her so much attention. And the more you show her attention, you're validating her because you're telling her she's pretty, or at least you're indirectly telling her she's pretty. You're letting her know she's still desired. When really she's interested in this guy over here or this ex in the back in the past, but she just doesn't know what to do. And because you're still there in the picture, she's just like, I might as well use this guy as an emotional crutch because the guy I'm really into, he's not there, so I might as well just settle for this. And here you are texting her incessantly, texting her incessantly, thinking that you just may put enough effort in, she's eventually just gonna snap out of it and just be completely head over heels in love with you, where in fact, that does not work, man. She's using you as an emotional crutch and as an emotional tampon, dude, which fucking sucks, but sucks to be you, but the right thing to do in this case is to just completely withdraw your attention and stop talking to her because your time is being wasted and you're being used and you're probably not even aware of this. Reason number two, she likes you but isn't emotionally ready yet. This one isn't super, super, super common, but it definitely does happen. A girl sometimes can be getting over an ex or she's gone over an ex, like let's say of two years, two years ago, she's been with that person for like years, but two years ago they broke up and now she's single and she's still kind of, she has trauma and stuff like that, but she really likes you, but she doesn't want to be with you emotionally, like that commitment, she's kind of scared of that. In this case, man, all you gotta do is just back off. You know, it's not a you problem, it's a her problem. Let her figure out her shit, let her get to you and come to you at her own pace until eventually she's the one chasing you, she's the one who wants to make plans with you, wants to see you, and then, then you can kind of escalate things in the manner that you want. Instead of doing it from a position of scarcity, like I gotta lock this girl down, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. No, don't think like that, bro. Instead, let her come to you at her own time and do things that way because then it's way more natural. Instead of feeling like it's forced and uh, you're just trying to force something to happen and make something happen because you're very anxious and you're not in this abundance mindset. Instead, you're in a scarcity mindset because this is all you know. This is the only girl who likes you. This is the only girl who you really like. This is who, who you have all your eyes on. Instead of taking the logical approach, which is, okay, the woman I devote my time and attention to should be a woman who has earned it and who's proven to me that she's the best one. That's the logical way. No, instead you're doing the emotional way and thinking like a little girl, a little bitch, no offense. And thinking about who you really like and just chasing them out of your life instead of seeing who really wants you for you. So you gotta wait until she is eventually emotionally ready and that's not a you problem, that's a her problem. And then when she's ready, then she can come to you at her own terms and chase you the way you wanna be chased. Reason number three, she somewhat likes you, but she doesn't like you enough 
to the point where she wants to go on dates with you and be emotionally involved with you. This will happen from time to time where you're really interested in a girl and she's kind of showing you the signs that she's interested. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, snaps, texts, memes, she's sending you these things all from her own end and you're just sitting there like, what the fuck, what's going on? Oftentimes, she does like you kind of, but it's not really that strong to the point where she's like, fuck yes, I want this guy 100%, I'm gonna commit to him. I want this guy to be the future father of my children or anything along those lines. In that case, man, once again, she's gonna show you behavior that's not consistent with her actions, etc. meaning that she's going to be chasing you, she's going to be sending you stuff, and then eventually, once you make plans, she's just gonna poof, disappear, and she's not gonna wanna make anything concrete with you. And if that's the case, man, just no hard feelings, back off, keep working on yourself, and focus only on a girl who's giving you a lot of attention after, of course. You know, you've made plans with her and she's gone on a date, she's been good to you, she's been sweet to you, and all these things. But a woman who's kind of always making excuses to make plans with you, pay her no mind and just move on to the next because you're only gonna waste your time, your mental energy, your emotional you know, distress, emotional discomfort, emotional hurt. You don't wanna put yourself through that again, man. Just focus on yourself and allow her to do her own thing. And if she's not hitting you up and asking to hang out after you have several times, she's just not that interested enough, bro. I know it hurts, but sometimes in life you gotta do that and then you just gotta focus on yourself. Reason number four, she is using you for her ego and for attention. Oftentimes, man, there's girls out there, not all of them, but there's girls out there, a lot of them, whom they're not even interested in the guy in the slightest, but because they're so selfish and they're because they're self-centered and because they're so focused on their ego, they want the attention from that guy, not that guy himself, the attention from him because it makes them feel attractive, it makes them feel beautiful, it makes them feel sexy. But do they care about that other guy's feelings? Probably a lot. And you know what's even worse? A lot of these girls know that there's a guy who's really interested in them. They don't think, they know. And then that guy who's really interested in them, because they're not interested in him back, they let him be a friend, and after they friends on him, they eventually somehow magically become best friends. Oh, we're besties. He doesn't like me the same way. Even though deep down she knows that. Why is that? It's because it feeds her ego. It feeds that starving ego, that insecure ego. There's girls out there who don't want anything to do with the guy beyond just friendship. And sure, they may be friends with the guy and genuinely see that person as a good person or as a good friend but they're gonna be texting him certain things, they're gonna be sending him kissing emojis, they're gonna be sending him things to kind of reel him in, so where he's close enough, but not close enough to get too close. Just so that she could get that high of feeling like she's attractive, she's desired. Meanwhile, she wants nothing to do with that guy. You know what's even worse? The more attention he gives her, and the more he agrees to the friendship, the less she respects him. Because she knows that he's agreeing to something that he doesn't actually wanna agree with but he's doing it because of her. Because he's also a little bitch and he's thinking, oh, if I just do, this, do it this way, then maybe someday she's gonna like me. Maybe if I just go you know, in an indirect way, she's gonna like me for it eventually. If you think like that, then you're thinking like a victim and you have to understand that this is never going to happen. And you have to put your big boy pants on and stop being a little bitch and stop focusing on girls who are not focusing on you. The right thing to do in this case is to just, you know what, withdraw the offer. If she's not into you, if she's, she's made it clear that we're just friends, be like, okay, I'm not going to take friendship because I do not see you as just a friend, but I'm going to move on with my life and it was nice knowing you. That's what you got to do. That's how you handle it. You don't handle it by saying, okay, to the friendship, even though you don't want to be a friend. You handle it by being honest and being respectful at the same time. You don't have to be a douchebag, but being respectful and honest, most importantly, honest, she's going to respect you more from that. Even if she still doesn't like you, she's going to respect the fact that you have the balls to walk away from something like that. She knows that deep down, especially if she's very beautiful, she knows that most guys can't walk away from her. But when you're the one who does walk away, and who knows, maybe you end up getting a more attractive girlfriend than her, or maybe she, you know, she knows that a lot of attractive women are paying attention to you, then that's finally when she starts sending you messages like, hey, hi, how are you doing? How are you doing, handsome? Out of nowhere, even though the past five years, she didn't see you the same. But now because you're with an attractive girl or because an attractive girl is giving you attention, just by happenstance, she wants to reach out to you because she knows that you can pull other attractive girls. I swear, man, that's how girls are. They're never gonna admit this, but it's the truth. When they see another man being desired by other women, or when they see another man who gets other women, that suddenly makes them interested as if they were never, as, as if you become a completely new person. When really you just became maybe a little more successful, maybe you have more game, more confidence, more swagger, more charisma, and you're attracting other women to you, now, all of a sudden, they're paying attention. Meanwhile, a couple of years prior, where, where the fuck were these people? Nowhere. That's how you gotta be. You gotta focus on yourself. Whenever a woman doesn't give you the attention you want, or whenever you're really interested in a woman who doesn't seem to be interested in you, or at least not as interested as you, 
the best thing you could do, bro, is just to focus on yourself. Focus on yourself no matter what. Even if a girl's really interested in you, focus on yourself. Focusing on yourself, putting your atten attention and effort into yourself is always gonna make you more attractive because you're gonna be coming from a position of abundance and from a position of power into yourself. You're no longer this needy guy. You're focused on yourself. And a lot of you guys have to stop being so fucking delusional. A lot of you guys out there are just so delusional to the negative extreme where you're like, yeah, man, she likes me too. It's like none of her actions prove that she even likes you. You're not even acting in ways that she likes you because if she really liked you, you wouldn't be acting like a little bitch like this. You would have had the balls to walk away. You would have you would have had the abundance mindset knowing that if this girl doesn't like me, that girl over there is going to like me, so it's no problem. But no, you are you have this one-itis. You're stuck on this mindset of just this one girl who's not paying you any mind. I don't want that to be your situation, bro. I want you to be in a situation of abundance and power into yourself. Where if a woman, you know, she's showing you all this attention, she's showing you this and that, yet she won't make plans with you ever. It's like one time, sure. Two times, that's like the like the most you're gonna ever do. But she's never suggesting an alternative. She always has excuses. That's the position you're gonna be in. You're always gonna be disappointed. I had this one girl, I swear to God, back from March of last year. Oh, it's been a while. March or April of last year, me and her matched on a dating app. And so afterwards, I tried to make plans with her, but she wasn't available, so I just left it at that. And then a couple months later, she comes back. She comes back texting me, whatever, doing this, doing that. We end up FaceTiming, and then we end up going out. After we went out, according to her, she really enjoyed the time. She would constantly Snapchat me. She would constantly send me stuff. She would constantly send me selfies of herself. And then I would comment, like, okay, you, you, look, you look sexy, you look beautiful, whatever. Um, I wouldn't do that every time, but sometimes I would. And I would just naturally, I, I swear to God, I was naturally in a position of abundance where I wasn't even focused on her, but it happens. And then after she would do this consistently for a few days straight, I would try to play the next day. And then we, put, we went out a second time, but after that second time, the same thing continued, but she just never made plans to meet me. And then she would keep coming back into the picture and then leave. And then keep coming back into the picture and then leave. I, it's like, I'm not even doing anything. She's sending me pictures of her sisters. She's sending me pictures of herself. She's sending me pictures of herself in this outfit, that outfit, this outfit, that outfit. And I'm just kicking back and relaxing. Yet, despite all of that, I tried to make plans with her. She's nowhere to be found. But the moral of the story that I'm trying to tell you or teach you is number one, only focus on the women who are focusing on you. That's after, of course, at first, you know, you showed your attention, you tried to take her out on several dates. You were, you know, leading with confidence. You're being a gentleman, all these things. Number two, when certain women do give you attention and they've, you know, they've rejected the date in the past or not rejected, they've kept postponing the date because of her bullshit excuses in the past. Um, when they come back in the picture, don't take them seriously. With this particular woman, I didn't take her seriously after that first time. Sure, I wanted to go out with her and we did two times, but I didn't take her super seriously. I knew in the back of my mind there was some baggage, there was some bullshit, there was an ex, whatever the fuck it was, I don't know. But the bottom line is she wasn't giving me what I wanted and when they don't give you what you want, you just leave. Because some of these girls, man, they'll continue texting you months upon months upon months after the fact that they already denied you a date. Or not even denied, they just postponed the date for whatever reason because of her bullshit excuses. And then when she comes back, you're like, okay, here she is texting you, texting you, texting you. She wants to go out. You know, you test her level of interest by asking her when she's free and then she's nowhere to fucking be found. In that case, man, just ignore these women because I'm telling you. It's just a pain in the ass. It's gonna, you know, frustrate you. It's gonna bother you. With this particular woman, I wasn't disappointed because I already knew, you know, you know how she was based upon her character. But that's it's fine. But what I'm trying to say is, don't be surprised when something like this happens because you've seen it before with someone else. Especially if you see patterns leading up to that. You know, you try to make plans with them, but they never make plans. Then now they're all of a sudden they're just interested. No, just you just understand that there's something fishy about that. So yeah, man, that's it. That's the four reasons why a woman will continuously text you and just get your attention and then not make plans to meet. And also show your support by subscribing and turning on the bell notifications, man. And I will see you in the next one. Just keep working on yourself, keep focusing on yourself, and don't worry about the women who didn't focus on you because I promise you, in the future when you're really successful and you're living the life you really wanna live, that's when they're gonna come back in the picture. And that's when you have the choice with exactly what to do with your relationship with them. Peace.